Hey there, I hope you're doing well, happy holidays, and thanks for stopping by. My name is Motobo, and today we will be continuing the series in which I chronicle the creative process behind designing the fake mon for my very own hypothetical Pokemon region, the Mr. Region. In the last episode, we met Bilvor and Lumberwack, the second and third evolved forms of the water starter of the Mr. Region, Wacket. In today's episode, we will be meeting the base forms of a couple of bug type Pokemon who will fill the role of early root regional bug type Pokemon in the Mr. Region. If you enjoyed this fake mon content, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to catch the full speed paints for these designs, you can find it in another playlist on my channel. One thing I'd like to preface this video with before we really get into the discussion of details and concepts is that bug Pokemon are hands down the type of Pokemon that I have the most trouble designing. I think it's a combination of trying to depict insect-like qualities in the Pokemon designs while still producing something cartoonishly Pokemon. Most bug-type Pokemon designs don't actually strictly follow the anatomical outlines of real-world insects and arachnids, which personally I'm thankful for. With that being said, let's jump right into meeting the first fake mon of today's episode, who happens to have plenty of inspirations. I wanted to base this early root regional bug type Pokemon on a real world bug that is well known to New England. It didn't have to be flashy, but it was important that they be found nearly everywhere in the area as this is what would occur in the hypothetical game. If you happen to live on the east or west coast of North America, or in Eastern Asia, you may be familiar with this little guy. This is the brown marmorated stink bug of the family Pentatomidae. Insects in this family are generally referred to as shield bugs, as adults in this family have a generalized body shape resembling that of a heraldic shield, the kind of shield you may find depicting a coat of arms. These things are everywhere. They've actually only been in the US for about 30 years, but since then have established themselves as an invasive species capable of absolutely decimating agricultural crops including stone fruit such as peaches, plums, and apricots. Due to the resemblance of their adult forms to shields, I wanted to incorporate that into this Bugmon's design and have it be a defensive wall of sorts. It crossed my mind to give this Pokemon a dual poison typing as it's a stink bug and it could release some sort of noxious gas, but stink bugs aren't actually poisonous and this felt like a fun alternative to what was initially obvious to me. The original idea for this line was to have a three stage evolution with each stage being based on a different kind of shield. The first stage evolution would take its shield inspiration from bucklers, a small shield held by the hand or worn on the forearm, typically including a concave, round centerpiece. I felt like a buckler was the perfect shield choice for this first form, as it's small and cute and could be situated on top of this mon's head to act as a sort of helmet while the mon held itself down for protection. I also considered giving this Pokemon a unique typing different to its final form so it wasn't too strong from the get go, but I ended up giving all of its evolutions the same typing all the way through as it came through well in its design and is a really good typing, arguably too good for the first route of the game, but this is a hypothetical game so this is where we stand. Another detail I decided to add is the generic orange and white stripes of road barricades as it fit with the stay away from me vibe of this Pokemon. I opted to add a sort of nose-like protrusion to the face of this mon which I played around with a lot and changed up many times before I got it to look right. I considered leaving the face bare and flat, but it was important to me that this mon had a proboscis reflective of its real life counterpart that uses this appendage to pierce and suck out the nutrients from the fruit it feeds on. This fake mon would also feed on various fruits and grass type Pokemon in this parasitic fashion. The legs I gave it are bent inward to reflect this Pokemon's ability to grab hold of things and not let go which it would use as a defense mechanism, as well as its origins as a shield. Somewhere along the process of this design, I noticed a number of similarities this fake mon bore to another bug other than stink bugs, thus granting this fake mon a combo of real world bug inspiration being a combination of stink bugs and ticks. The form I carved out for this fake mon somewhat resembles ticks with their small bodies and flat tops, as well as its parasitic and latching behaviors. Not to mention its defensive typing which is much like that of real world ticks as they can be very difficult to destroy. With all that being said, I am more than happy to introduce to you the first evolved form of one of the Mr. Region's early root bug type Pokemon, Latchler, the Buckler Pokemon. Latchler's heads are incredibly tough, which it uses to defend itself from predators. It holds on tight to surfaces and takes blows to its hard head while keeping its fragile underside safe. This Pokemon has the abilities Sturdy and Swarm. This Pokemon's name is based on a combination of the words Latch and Buckler. 
As you can see, I went very simplistic with this design in order to give myself plenty of room to elaborate on its upcoming evolutions. But this is also reflective of its typing, as steel types tend to not be the most extravagantly designed of the Pokemon types. I also opted to change the eyes of this mon, as I will never stop loving the simple white circle inside of a black ring eye design, but I also wanted this Pokemon to look a bit standoffish. Red is a good color as it plays into the stay away danger theme of this Pokemon, this of course being more of a defense mechanism than an actual indicator of the damage that could be caused by this rather weak yet tough bug Pokemon. I can't wait to reveal the evolutions for this little guy in next week's episode, but for now, let's move on to the first of all forms of the second early root bug type Pokemon commonly found in the Mista region. Now, having a steel type available early on in the game, hypothetical as the game is, is rather imbalanced. Steel is an incredibly powerful type, and while it may take a great many levels to evolve your Wacket into its water steel dual type form, you can get a Latchler right away in all of its steel type glory. With that in mind, I wanted to make this second bug line a sort of answer to Latchler and its evolved forms. I actually had this idea before I even settled on Steel as Latchler's secondary typing, as I enjoy in-game relationships between various Pokemon species. This new line would of course be bug type, but in order to be a counter to Latchler, it would need to adopt the fire type, as Pokemon with the bug and steel typings are four times weak to and only weak to fire type moves. I was concerned about attempting this type combo at first, but it was too cool of an opportunity to pass up, and is something that's been done successfully a number of times now. As for the real world bug inspiration for this mon, I wanted to use a species that is known to prey on the invasive stink bug species I used for Latchler's inspiration. In my searches, I found an intimidating looking and terrifyingly named creature known as the Assassin Bug of the family Reduvidae. This species was easily cool enough for me to use as a basis for this design, but I had trouble figuring out how I would incorporate the fire typing into this mon. I knew I didn't want it to be covered in flames, as that didn't feel quite right for a bug type Pokemon. I played around with a few ideas which had its head like a ram or drill, and the large thorax is seen on the nymphs of assassin bugs being used as a rocket propulsion system, or a molten tank of magma. None of this felt right or seemed to relate well to the shield breaking or barrier penetrating relationship I wanted it to have with Latchler's line. Then I got to thinking about what kinds of weapons are known to break barriers, the kind of weapon that a shield wouldn't be able to withstand. The answer I found being... explosives. This mainly came about as I knew I wanted this mod to have an oversized thorax like the nymph form of its real life counterpart. While testing out design options for this part of the body, I thought it might be cool to shape its thorax like the explosive portion of an RPG, or a rocket launcher. From there, things kind of took off as I kept adding explosive and bomb-inspired features to the form of this mon. The body shape itself I had a plan for, and was just a matter of adjusting bit by bit until it all came together fluidly. I wanted to again include the long mouth parts as seen in the real world inspiration for this Pokemon, but I instead went with the option to give this mon a mostly round head reflective of classic cartoon depictions of bombs. The antenna of this mon are references to the fuses seen on these kinds of bombs, and the faint skull pattern on this mon's face when combined with its eyes reference the same skull pattern also sometimes seen on these cartoon bombs. The body shape was inspired by rocket launchers and hand grenades, probably a bit too edgy for an official Pokemon design. It was also during the creation of this mon that I came to realize something about the design of Bug-type Pokemon, being that their eyes typically lack emotionality, giving them a sort of oblivious expression. I wanted this obliviousness to come through in this mon's design, and hand with the eyes being large and looking shocked or paranoid, reflective of this mon's explosive characteristics. Speaking of which, as you can tell from the absence of distinct flames on and around this mon's body, the fire typing would come from this mon's explosive qualities and behavior. With that being said, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the first of all form of another one of the Mista region's early root bug type Pokemon, Sparkload. Sparkload's body is made of highly explosive material. If it is stressed or senses danger, sparks will fly from its antenna as a sign it's close to blowing up. It waits in hiding to ambush their prey with flashy explosions by jumping down on them from above, but must be careful as an accidental impact can cause them to go off. This Pokemon has the abilities Aftermath and Weak Armor. Its name is based on a combination of the words Spark, Load, and Explode. I am very happy with how this fake mon turned out and can't wait to show you how it looks fully evolved. This design is easily more complex than its counterpart, Latchler, because rather than having three stages to its evolution line, it will only have two. In the hypothetical game, 
This mon would also have a lower chance of being encountered than Latchler, as Latchler are the find it everywhere kind of bug Pokemon for the Mr. Region, and Sparkload are their natural predator. So, what do you think of the base forms of the regional bug type Pokemon that you would encounter early on in the Mr. Region? And what do you think will become of their evolutions? I hope you enjoyed learning about the design process behind these fake mon, and I hope you will continue with me on this journey to discover the full regional decks of the Mr. Region. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell button if you'd like to keep up with each episode in the series. In the next episode, we will be discovering the evolved forms of Latchler and Sparkload. Until then, thanks so much for joining me, and have a great rest of your day.